SOLIDWORKS 2018 introduces new ways you can utilize mesh data, offering more possibilities than ever before. For a variety of formats such as STL, OBJ, and additive manufacturing files. First off, graphical mesh geometry now supports material textures and real view appearances. Likewise, you can now perform sections on graphical mesh data as well. As a result, you can now better visualize and fully understand your mesh geometry right inside of SOLIDWORKS. However, we can do much more with mesh geometry. Starting with the new Surface from Mesh feature, this tool enables you to turn mesh data into SOLIDWORKS surfaces quickly utilizing a simple workflow. Just choose the type of surface you wish to create. Then using the purpose-built Paint Selected Facets tool, you can easily swipe to select a handful of faces for the desired surface. Notice that not every surface needs to be selected. By simply choosing Calculate, SOLIDWORKS will automatically gather the remaining faces for you and create the appropriate surface. Once any number of surfaces have been created in this manner, they will all benefit from the surfacing capabilities found in SOLIDWORKS, allowing you to take full advantage of those familiar tools. SOLIDWORKS 2018 also introduces the new mesh body type. Any graphical mesh can be converted into a mesh body quickly from the right mouse menu. Mesh bodies are similar to solid bodies in that they are watertight. They have mass properties associated with them and they can be sectioned normally. But they do have some differences, which we'll take a look at in a moment. You can take your mesh data much further with some powerful new workflows specific to mesh geometry. For instance, you can add any geometry to mesh files using all the familiar tools you've used in SOLIDWORKS. You can even reference the underlying mesh geometry when adding sketch relationships. The only difference, however, is these features aren't automatically merged with the mesh geometry. To do that, you can now also convert traditional solid bodies into mesh bodies as well, just like we showed before for graphical mesh. This ultimately allows you to take any geometry you've created and perform a variety of Boolean style features to further manipulate your mesh geometry. Now in 2018, working with mesh files is much easier.